Hey everyone, welcome to a new video. In today's video, I'm going to show you how you can sell maps just like some of the ones on my screen here today. Uh, you guys have probably seen maps like this before, right? They look really cool. You're probably curious as to how you can actually sell them. And frankly, they're bought a lot. You know, they're purchased a lot. And this be has become a very fast growing trend to sell these kind of maps. Um, I would say within the last two years, you know, uh, so let me show you how you guys can do it because this is fairly kind of new and not a lot of people know how to do this. So you can literally just go to Google Maps and take screenshots, but I kind of have a better way. So let me share this with you. So it, what we can do is we can go to this website called Snazzy Maps here and Snazzy Maps. If you just do a basic Google search, it's the first one that shows up and um Basically, right, I went ahead and clicked on this Assassin's Creed type map. And the different themes or different types of maps are based on colors. So this one's like an orangish red, kind of like a multicolor version. And this one has like three colors. That's it. And I find it to be pretty cool. So uh, let's say I want to do a map of Reno, Nevada, right? So I'll go here zoom in on the right city, right? Something like this. And I'll take a screenshot or I can take a screenshot or I can let the kind of tool do it for me. So there's multiple ways to do this. It's not like, you know, you're forced to use this a certain way, but you can test things by zooming in and out. So I'll click this little plus sign here. Let me just go ahead and show you. And um, right next to it, there's like this, this drawer that opens up. Now, this is originally used for embedding code or embedding a map onto your website. However, we don't need that, right? We're not, we don't have websites here right now. There's nothing to embed. We just simply want to take a picture of the image. So I can, by the way, if I want to customize the map, I could absolutely do that. But I can make things a little bit easier on myself and just hide this little, uh, this drawer here. And I could zoom in to my liking of the city. So here's the city. I can zoom in kind of like this, which is just about perfect for me. And I can take a picture, right, of it like this. I can literally take a screenshot view or I can go ahead and click on the download image button. And if I want to download the image, look at how this viewfinder on my screen changes. I can zoom in and out. I can change my pixels. So let's say I want to click 2000 pixels here. And personally, I like to have one of the taller sized portraits. Uh, so something that's more vertical than it is horizontal. And with my size that I like to work on canvas, on Canva, excuse me, my canvas is 4000 pixels by 6000. So if I was really to break that down, that's we're looking at a uh, two thirds, two to three ratio. So I can go over here, right? And type in, let's start to toggle some of the settings here for the dimensions. And so like, let's say I'm happy with 470 pixels. I can take this, drag it forward, kind of like that. And then I can kind of use that sizing. So let's just say I wanted to move this downward, kind of like this, then boom, I have exactly what I like. I can control my scale factor as well. So like how big do I want this? Let's say I go for 3x and I hit download. And every single day I can download 10 different images. You could see here you have 10 downloads remaining for today. And so on this computer, I haven't done a download. So you could see I just downloaded the image and here the image is. Sorry about that. That was an image from my uh, past design. But um, you could see here this is the exact image. Now let me show you how you can take this image and turn it into an actual poster. So let's go ahead and get into that real quick. Okay, so I have the image here on Canva and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start expanding my image, right? So I'm gonna expand it, expand it, expand it. And yes, part of the image will get cut off. It just depends on the size of your canvas on Canva. And I'm gonna move it down because I don't wanna show this Google text right here on the bottom. So I'm going to move it down kind of like down here, right? Just like this. And I'm going to fit it to where I want it to be. It doesn't have to be perfect. This is good enough. 
And now what I want to do is I want to include a place where I can have some text on the bottom. So I can go over here, add some text, type in Reno, Nevada, for example. And I could just pick a nice font that's thick enough that's going to stand out that looks somewhat decent, right? And I'm going to increase the size of this font, okay? And I'm going to make it something that's relatively abstract to the art or something at least that's visible. Now, I don't want it to be too abstract. I don't want to use a color like orange, for example. Just not my style personally. You could if you want to. But I'm going to go with this gray type of tone. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into effects here. And I'm going to select an effect that creates a shadow for to help it stand out. So to put things into consideration, right? If I didn't have the shadow, the design would look like this. And if I did have the shadow, it looks like this. Now I can also make the shadow a little more drastic, which is actually what I personally want. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a gradient underneath it. So I'm going to go over here to elements. I'll search for gradient. Okay. And I can look for a gradient that can match the color scheme of this poster. So let's just say I pick this gradient here and I go here, I increase the size of this and I can start testing where I want this to be. So for example, I can put this right here and that actually looks pretty decent of a poster compared to what it once was, right? Not to say that it wouldn't sell if I just literally took the screenshot, it would probably, but uh, I add a little more details to it, it makes it a little bit better. And you don't have to use this font. You could literally play around with it, test it, use whatever kind of color you want, it's up to you. That actually looks better with the white. I think I might use the white permanently, uh, but that's just a perfect example. So, so now that the image is taken care of, I need to make sure that the image is going to be large on a large scale because with these lines, guys, the very small lines, they're going to become pixelated when the image is printed, unfortunately, because it's so small. So the only way I could really mitigate that or fix that is I'm going to have to upscale this design. So I'm going to go over here into download. I'm going to decrease this size just to preserve its quality. And I'm going to go for the smallest size and I'm going to hit download here. So this is the poster that I want, which is number two. So select it and I'll hit download. Okay. And so now let's go ahead and begin upscaling. So I'm going to open up this application I have that I use for my upscaler. And you guys are going to be able to see the difference between the quality of the image. So I'm going to drag and drop the image here. Okay. Just like this into my software. And I'm going to go into catalog and I'm going to drag it into the upscale section. The font currently, or excuse me, the, the size is 2,000 pixels by 3,000 pixels. I'm going to go 4x, so I'm going to hit upscale. And now that the image is upscaled, I can actually view the image in its full quality. So I can zoom in, and you could see that that is a little bit better than what it once was. Okay, so to put things into consideration, right, the original image looked like this. All right, so let me go ahead and go into my downloads here and select the original image, which is this right here. And if I chose to upscale, not upscale, but to size this to the 12,000 pixels, right? So I click mark up here and I match the exact same size. So multiplying this by four, if I wrote 12,000 pixels here, you look here, this is pixelated. And I don't know if my camera is picking this up, but you could barely see the lines here. They look pixelated. They do not look good. And this is once again on the original. When I go over here to my upscaled image, they're at least visible. They're uniform in size and it looks much, much better. So I would be much more confident in selling something like this over selling the first version. And you could see from this shot here that it does look indeed better. This is my little tutorial on how to use snazzy maps and get the most out of this. And you, like I said, you can upload designs like this to, you know, whatever site, Etsy, T public, uh, you know, Redbubble. the list goes on and on. You could create your own website and sell phone cases, posters, you know, blankets, so much you can do with this application. And frankly, there's a lot of places where you can sell something like this, right? Like on a, it goes on a lot of different products. So you guys let me know, are you doing something like this? Are you going to do something like this? 
let me know. All right. I'll talk to you guys later. Hopefully this video was helpful. I'll see you guys soon. Thanks for watching and peace out. Bye.